expensive, slow, only for enterprises, or grossly outdated. Those are the myths that surround C Sharp and .NET in many communities to this date. But are they true? I guess you're here because you want to find out. In that case, I won't let you wait any longer. Let's get started. Myth number one, C Sharp is Microsoft centric. Sure, originally C Sharp was created by Microsoft, leading many to think it's exclusively for Windows development. But the times have changed. .NET Core and its successors ushered in a new era of cross-platform development. From web servers running on Linux to desktop apps on macOS, C Sharp has expanded its horizons. And don't get me started on containers and cloud. With .NET, you're globally deployable. Okay, but C Sharp is also one of the slowest programming languages out there, right? Which leads us to myth number two, performance concerns. C Sharp is slow. Well, there's the notion that managed languages like C Sharp can't hold a candle to the raw performance of a language like C++. While unmanaged languages do offer closer hardware access, .NET's just-in-time compilation and continuous optimizations mean that for many applications the difference is negligible. And with the new performance improvements span generic and experimental features in recent .NET versions, we're bridging the gap even further. By the way, if you want to learn more about what's new in C-Sharp 12 and what you can expect with .NET 8, definitely check out our video about that. You'll see there what we mean by this. Global and fast then? But what if I don't have the budget for it? Which leads us to myth number three, it's costly. The word Microsoft might evoke images of license fees and software costs, but guess what? The .NET SDK and runtime? absolutely free. With community-driven development tools like Visual Studio Code and the entire .NET platform on GitHub, your wallet can relax. There are enterprise offerings, sure, but for many developers and small businesses, everything they need is available without a price tag. But I need my app to be as small as possible. C Sharp isn't for that. Which leads us to myth number four. C Sharp is heavy. Well, yes, .NET applications have a runtime, but isn't Java the same? With features like contained deployments and assembly trimming, you can shrink your application down to just the essential. The footprint might have been an issue a decade ago, but in the modern .NET era, you have control. Besides, with some modern solutions out there, even the ones heavyweight database applications based on C-Sharp cannot only become lightweight in size, but also in workload. Modern solutions like our sponsor devr.connect for PostgreSQL looking to supercharge your PostgreSQL based database applications. This ORM enhanced data provider doesn't just rest on 80.NET technology, it enhances it, offering a holistic solution for crafting top tier PostgreSQL applications. And here's the kicker. 16 years of refined development, thousands of .NET applications already rely on .connect's powerful connectivity features. It's a legacy of trust and performance. So if you're on the .NET platform and PostgreSQL is your thing, check them out in the link below. And big thanks to them for supporting our channel with this sponsorship. Well, that's great to know, but what about mobile app development? Isn't C Sharp for desktops only? Which leads us to myth number five, C Sharp is not for app or web development. Some still see C Sharp as a desktop or server language, but with Xamarin for mobile and ASP.NET Core for web, C Sharp is a triple threat. You can code for Android, iOS, web and desktop all in one language. And with .NET MAUI, cross-platform development is getting even smoother. Remember how .NET used to be closed source? Myth number six, C Sharp is closed source. Well, once upon a time, yes, but today's .NET is open source and thriving on platforms like GitHub. Not only can you view the source, but you can also contribute. It's community-driven development at its best. It's not just about reading the code, it's about shaping its future. But I'm just a small guy. Not only can I not contribute, but I think this language is just not for me. Which leads us to myth number seven. It's only for big enterprises. Well, C Sharp and .NET are versatile. From single page web apps to global enterprise solutions, it scales with your needs. Hobbyists, indie developers, startups and enterprises. 
there's room for everyone in the .NET tent. Okay, okay, all right. But I'm still not gonna work with an outdated language. Which leads us to myth number eight. C Sharp is an outdated language. Outdated? I mean, languages evolve and C Sharp is no exception. With every release, new features make development faster, safer and more enjoyable. Pattern matching, async streams, nullable reference types. C Sharp is continually evolving. Did you maybe try it once and felt it was too complicated to learn? Then maybe consider myth number nine. C Sharp is too complex. Well, all right, I can understand that. However, like any tool, C Sharp offers depth, but you can use what you need first. Then over time, as your needs increase, learn at your own pace. The basics are straightforward. And the advanced features? Well, they're there when you're ready. But yes, we get it. With all this talk about structs, class, inheriting, complex libraries and weird new experimental features, starting to learn this language can become quite daunting. But this is where members of this huge community behind this language like us can help you. There is an endless amount of tutorials and guides on any platform teaching you in detail anything you might want to know. Like with our seven hour long course we have on our channel. We are here to help you find your way in and build up your career. So don't be scared of its complexity because for every question you might have, there are sure to be hundreds of developers ready to help you find an answer. And now I'd like to hear from you. Are there any more myths that you came across and you believe? Would you like to talk about them? Or do you have any other questions? Then please write a comment down below. And while you're at it, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching and as always, happy coding.